Welcome back everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this is Dark Souls 2. Um, as you can see, some stuff happened uh, between the last video and this one. Um, as I mentioned, I was going to go ahead and do a bunch of... Um, I was going to put my sign down and help a bunch of people with their uh, boss fights to get um, sunlight medals, because I'm part of the um, Air of the Sun right now. Um, where I went to first was the Lost Bastille where they, uh, that one boss where you fight three of those gold knight uh, people. Um, I did that for about 15, I did that about 15 times. Um, well, 15 successes. Um, there were a few failures. Um, it, at first, I was getting um, hit, I was getting summoned pretty often, um, but gradually, I was getting um, 9,900 souls per victory against that boss. And I also did a little bit of killing around the area just to kind of reduce the, the spawns a little bit. Um, so by that time I got 15 medals, I had 200, over 200,000 souls built up, which um, brought my soul memory up to from 300,000 to like 500,000, which puts me in completely different tiers. And since the boss fight for Lost Bastille is generally something that a lot of early game people do, because it's in order, um, eventually it got to the point where the wait time was so long I went to this place instead, and I went back and fought the covet, uh, Covetous demon or whatever it's called and I did that until I got three, uh, 30 medals um, I apologize for not showing any of them it's essentially just like a normal summon except I'm gold and I do the um, praise the sun pose when I get summoned so there's not really much difference but um, I do have 30 medals which is enough to get me all three ranks of this covenant and want to get some stuff out of it but first I'm completely terrified of walking around with 330,000 uh, souls so we're gonna go back to town first I didn't want to spend my souls because this is a lot of level ups and you guys probably should see it. It's a good thing we got the souls though because we do need those level ups because the final thing we get for the... We get from them, uh, get from the uh, Covenant is something we need some uh, a high amount of faith to use. You've been long what? But first I want to check to see if you guys have anything. No. No interest. Suit yourself. Uh, I will say... Um, Killing those fat guys with the hammers um, that are around the Covetous Demon are very worth farming because they not only they, do they drop uh, Titanite Shards, they also drop sm small, smooth, and silky stones, and they have a chance of dropping smooth and silky stones. I managed to get one of these off of them as well. So it's definitely worth that. Alright, uh, let's go talk to you. Bear, see, see, lest this. Yes, yes. Alright, I don't think I have it. Nope. Alright, let's level up. Alright, first things first. need this up to 55 and look at that so that pretty much took up all my souls all right uh, the other thing we need to work on um, okay we can get a level up here that'll get us another spell slot um, and 15 strength that'll pretty much open up a little a few more weapons I did look up the katanas uh, and found out that some of them do have a higher strength requirement some of them have a higher dex requirement as well, and I'll need to make up for that as well. But we've went from, we've gained 30 levels from uh, working on that covenant stuff. Uh, co working on like grinding out covenant stuff, well, individually doesn't really get you very much uh, souls. It adds up very quickly, but um, sim simply because you just require so many uh, victories to actually get anywhere. This applies to PvP as well. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and confirm that. Think we're good to go? Yes. Damn. So we got ourselves another spell slot. That's good. Uh, let me just check real quick to see how far away I'm from another level. And it's, it's a little while. Not too much. A few kills. All right. Leave that. And let's go. What was I gonna do? I don't even remember. Attune spells. Um, I do have homeward right now bound to me just in case uh, we'll go ahead and add that again not that it matters all right we're gonna go ahead and travel back to harvest valley nope oh, earth and peak and then we'll go to harvest valley from there i've already cleared out the area of, uh, leading to harvest valley um i killed them 15 times so they're not going to respawn uh, there is one enemy between he me and well between here and the um, the uh, sunlight altar, which we'll deal with it. 
Also, I don't think it's called the Sunlight Altar, but whatever. Um, something to note about the Covetous Demon, it does have a unique little mechanic involving these little undead uh, jars. If you break these jars, the undead will drop down, and the Covetous Demon will be drawn towards them, which is kind of interesting. Needless to say, you don't really need it because the Covetous Demon is pretty easy to deal with, but for people that don't aren't familiar with this boss, it's very easy to get killed by him. I can tell you that for a fact because I was helping people out, and people who weren't familiar with the Covetous Demon will just start slashing away like I was and not aware that the thing could roll over on top of them and stuff like that. It was just silly things. So if you ever summon help, uh, I suggest if it's especially if you're a new person who's not familiar with boss fights or just having trouble with a boss fight, take advantage of the fact that you have partners and let them kind of aggro the boss and learn and kind of watch from a distance if you can to see like what you need to learn um, about their tells and their how they move. It saves a lot of headache because if you just rush in there with your partners and you die, it's pretty much a wasted effort on everyone's behalf. Hey, what's up? My damage has gone up a little bit because I got freaking like 24 additional faith now. And now we can go in here. This might take a little bit because I have to offer these one at a time. I believe, yeah, this is gonna take a while. I believe as your rank goes up, I think the golden aura for your uh, uh, phantom will get brighter, but I didn't test this. I, I'm still rank zero. I didn't spend any of my medals. So you guys get to see exactly what all three of the reports are. Uh, essentially, this is how all covenants work. You got three rewards, uh, three ranks, and each rank gives you a reward. Mainly, we want the final reward, but the second reward is actually pretty good as well. And the first reward is a shield, and I don't use shields. So, this might take a little bit up, oh, and your devotion to your covenant has deepened and you have gained a rank. Sunlight par uh, Parma, that's the shield, let's continue. I'll show off the, I'll at least show off the stats of the shield in a second, but I'm just going to go through all this first. The next thing I want to get is a sword, and it's a pretty good sword. It kind of made me wish I had, uh... Gotten it sooner. Well, ha or gotten it uh, with my other character sooner. Because it's designed for a physical build, and I originally did a physical build for my um, uh, explorer. Do, 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 do. It's a little tedious, but thankfully, well, not all covenants are like this, so you don't have to turn in things like this. I, the only I know of one other. Oh, well, let's deal with this first. Sun sword. So that's the sword. We'll go ahead and deal. Okay, do the last ten. I know of one other covenant where you have to kind of turn in things one at a time, uh, and that's with the that's with the rat king, which I will be joining at least briefly. I don't think I'll go through the entire thing. Alright, we got some issues to deal with. Uh huh, so I got invaded. This is not a place I want to fight a freaking dark spirit. I wonder if I can just home homeward and leave. No, I can't. It won't let me. This is not where I want to fight anyone. 
I don't... This is not gonna be fun. I don't know where the Dark Spirit's at. Probably around here, maybe? Can I just fog out? Okay. He probably couldn't find me. And I really didn't want to go over in the freaking poison area just to f try to find him. It's, this is not a good place to fight a freaking phantom. Too much near. That's why I kind. Of, I was kind of hoping it would come in to the boss area, but I guess not. So that's my third time I've ever been invaded. Oh, I forgot to mention. If you guys are keeping track of like my deaths, I died twice. Well, I died a few times as a phantom, but I don't count those really. But um, as a player and potentially could have lost a bunch of souls, I died twice. So add two to the, my death count. Mainly because I was careless and one because of bullshit. So. My heart kind of stopped a little bit when I, you know, had to go and do a retrieval for 250,000 souls and stuff like that. Anyway, I was talking about something, and I don't remember what. Oops. Sunlight Spear. That, we're now rank 3, and that's it for that. Go ahead and leave, and let's uh, go to a campfire. Or bonfire, actually, I can just do this. Alright, so that takes care of all that. Let's rest, let's attune spells. Sunlight Spear requires 55 faith, um, requires 2 spell slots. A miracle that launches a spear of sunlight, pow powered with immense wondrous souls. One of the ancient original miracles said to have existed from the infancy of the very world. It's practically a top tier of offensive spell. So we're going to go ahead and remove that and that. And add that. You only cast it 4 times, but that's okay. See if it looks any different. Oh yeah. Alright, and let's go ahead and take a quick look at the items we got. Oh, I did miss one drop in Lost Bastille. It was just a like a lost soul item. It was behind like one of the doors I opened and walked through. If you go back the other way, you'll see it. It's not that big of a deal though. Um, also, I found a pl where I was supposed to use an antiquated key, and it, lead it all it did was lead to a room we've already been to. So it's just like a detour, so or a shortcut, I guess. So don't worry about that either. And uh, let's go to weapon. Well, actually, we can go here. So the weapon we picked up, the sun sword, a well for a well forged longsword of unknown origin and exhibiting no special power, but sturdily crafted. Perhaps it w does not live up to its name, but nevertheless. Merely wielding a sword seems to cause a warmth to well up, uh, well up within one's bosom. So, it starts out at affinity B on both strength and dexterity. Requires 15 strength and 13 dexterity to use. It's purely physical, and it's pretty good. It's lighter than my sword, my other sword, uh, but it doesn't do as much damage, I believe. Let's see, it's 87. Right now, well, I can equip it. That's easy enough to do. Yeah, since I don't really have high strength, I, well, my strength and dexterity is not particularly high at the moment. Um, it's still not as good, but it's 
if you're like going for a physical build, the Sun Sword's pretty good, and I've heard that its attack animations and stuff are actually pretty decent for a weapon. Um, the other thing we could have got, we've gotten was the shield, Sunlight Parma, a small shield depicting a hero of yore. Perhaps these famed champions are no more, or perhaps they have no desire uh, here. No desire appear in public view, but their very absence has made tales of their brave deeds all the more alluring, and this shield memori uh, memorializes one of their brethren. Um, pretty... Yeah. It's got some decent uh, def defenses. It's, um, it's a small shield, so it doesn't block everything, but as a small shield, it's still pretty decent, I guess. Not much else to say about it. Alright, and that's about it. So, let's go ahead and get back on track. Uh, one thing I suggest when you fight, if you ever go and fight the um, the three bo the three bosses in uh, Lost, Lost Bastille, get the ring that uh, reduces fall damage. Because if you have that ring, you don't take any dom damage from falling off the uh, platform. I started, I started wearing that while fighting them. It was actually rather useful. Let's test this thing out, shall we? Neat. Alright. I believe the damage caps out. Uh, I don't know if it caps out at, at max HP. So if we might have done even more damage than we thought. In any case, uh, we need to go up. Alright, we can go up the ladder. That's an option. Hey, what's up? And at this point, we need literally 14, over 14,000 souls per level up now. So it's getting up there. Each level gets more and more expensive. Alright, we are done with this area here. Shield ahead. Okay. This thing's actually kind of weird, to say the least. Um, we're gonna go in order. We're gonna go up here first. There's a switch that actually makes that platform there go upwards. But for now, we're gonna just do this. Oh, that's so satisfying down here? Yes, you are. Oh, also something else I found out. Uh, your messages cap at 10, and every time you take an another, uh, write down another message after that, it overlap. It will uh, overwrite your oldest message. So I deleted a bunch of my old messages, and I'll just reapply them somewhere. We went through a lot together. Take this as a token of our friendship. Pate's spears, and wow, all of Pate's armor and the Ring of Thorns. Uh, you can get the Ring of Thorns from him by killing him, so this was pretty worthwhile. I think this is because uh, I took him, because I never got this before. Um, I think it's because I took him into battle uh, against the giant. So, Don't cool. Shy. They were meant for you. <laughs> Pate, stop acting so freaky. I was trying to say nice things about you. Well, we meet again. There's treasure this way, but I have a bad feeling about it. I don't quite have the guts myself. <laughs> well, there's okay. treasure. I don't. So once again, he's near an area that's there's treasure. We can't go through this way. This stuff is filled with poison, so I'm not gonna roll through it. Battle, whatever. Oh, I see. So these are um, pyromancy witches. Um, well, that's probably not their name, but they use a lot of pyromancy spells, like top tier stuff.
Yeah, and they don't stop throwing them. All right, so we need to make a jump. Um, and then there's that door there. That's the door we can um, um, that we couldn't get through from the other side. All right, to make this jump, it's kind of tricky. Aim for the wall because you'll catch that lip. Uh, jumping back, on the other hand, um, it's a little bit more difficult. Sulfur Breath Warrior and Crimson Water. Is that chest open? Oh, I guess we did get that chest. Alright, um, now getting back across is something I've have a lot of trouble doing. All right, got it. And what we can do here is just drop down here. Okay, yeah, that's the thing we missed. Um, so we have to make a jump from here. Mine work. Yes, yes, I know. Uh, but first, let's open this. Well, this I don't. Okay, we haven't got the treasure yet. Alright, so let's go this way first. Oh, it's probably this thing. Good, you're not a mimic. Great heavy soul arrow. Always good. That probably should satisfy you. Well, good to see that you survived. Perhaps you're more rugged than I thought. In any case, the treasure is yours, since you went ahead and took the leap. I prefer a more cautious approach. It's hard to know who to even trust these days. For instance, I've heard that a man is out for my life. Now, what misunderstanding could have ever led to that? The poor bloke must have quite an imagination. <laughs> You know, Pate, it would be a lot easier to not, you know, suspici uh, have suspicion of you when you, you, if, if you talk you, differently. My friend, for trust can be a dangerous thing. You be careful. All right. Yeah, I heard about on my original playthrough, he, he said those same lines, but I never activated the other guy, so I, it never had any payoff. All right, so at this point... I don't care if I'm got only one level up on me. All right. Um, so the issue here is the fact that this fall, if I if I roll, I could roll off the platform. Like landing on it's not that big of a deal, but oh great! Drink, drink, drink. There we go. I'm running out of poison moss. Human effigy and a poison broadsword. Um, I don't have a way of getting back, do I? You'd think it would be through here, but guess not. There's got to be a way back. It's not a game that generally... Well, it sometimes does. Alright, well, there's not really any way for me to get back from here, so... We'll... Oh, I don't have it on me. Alright, fine, I'll use a uh, Homeward Bone. Alright, that was kind of the toughest secret to deal with, so... That wasn't too bad. So let's 
I'm gonna confirm that I have everything taken care of on that one side before I start messing with the secrets here. Actually, I can mess with the secrets now. Where is that switch? There it is. So we definitely want to be on this platform to go up. But there's also this. Large soul of a proud knight and a divine blessing. And yes, you can be crushed by it. So be careful of that. All right, how much health do you have? These guys are pretty tough because they don't flinch as easily with uh, the sword I have. All right, hey Pate, you still around? No, you moved on. Okay. Great work and cuffs, always good. Is there anything else? No, we are done here. Nope, never mind, I'm a liar. Uh huh. Yeah, it's best to take out these people first before you. Oh boy! Because they start going ballistic if you go up the elevator. What did you do to yourself? Oh, you poisoned yourself. Congratulations. She broke a jar right next to her and it shattered it. Dragon charm. Uh, essentially, it's just like a priest charm, just a lot stronger. Uh, I didn't mean to open it. Yeah, if you roll like that, you avoid the trap completely. There's locks down. Awesome. Why does that look like a door? Be careful about breaking chest. If you break chest, it will break the items inside. Nope. Okay. Nothing here. Dragon Charm. Uh, you can make this jump, it's not too difficult. Ouch. I despise you. I'll just let the poison run out. I don't have the, uh, cleanse on me anymore. Manicate knife. And this part would have had, uh, uh, poison sludge in it. But since we destroyed the windmill, um, it's gone now. Ah, that's that ladder I've been ignoring. This is where it takes us in the end. So we're gonna backtrack first. We got a few things we need to take care of now. Um, for one, we gotta get down there. I'm pretty sure you can just fall down there, but I'm gonna take care of some other stuff first. Alright, we're just about out of time, so, but, we'll go a little bit further. So despite the fact I increased my faith by like, 
30 points. The damage is still kind of within reason. Alright, let's drop down here and see what's going on. Anything of note? Nope. Alright. So yeah, if you fail the jump, that's really all that happens. I don't know if it, what happens if you hit the blades. I've never hit the blades while they're moving. So. Anyway, we should be just about done with this area. I'm pretty sure that's a lie, but I'll check it anyway. Okay, you're not a liar. Where's this take us? Just out here, huh? Spell Quartz Ring, plus one. Holy... Wow. Increases magic defense. That's actually pretty useful for this upcoming boss, if uh, you're concerned about things like that. So yeah, I did that to shatter the uh, poison jars next to them, so they just died from poison. Oh. Yeah, none of that. Yeah, those guys are fast, if you hadn't guessed already. There's two guards up there. There's a witch up here. Ah! I almost rolled into that shot. Too bad I can't get their armor. Their witch's armor is actually pretty cool. Um, if you didn't take out the windmill, this stuff would be filled with poison. Uh, I was When I summoned two phantoms to fight the boss, um, I still had the uh, ooze there, and they actually kind of uh, communicated to me non-verbally how to uh, take out the uh, windmill, which was kind of nice of them. Alright, we're gonna... There's some stuff over there, but I'm not gonna worry about it. I'm gonna... That's a phantom. A little weird, because I never got any invasion notice. Anyway, uh, there are two secrets here. One's here. Please do a bonfire. This one's actually worth having a message for. By the way... Ah, I screwed it up. Uh, illusion ahead. Objects, bonfire ahead. This is around the point where I actually learned how to activate those secret doors. So now we have a close uh, place where we can actually uh, fight the bosses. There's also one over here. Petrified something. Awesome. You can go turn that in. So all we got left now is the uh, boss, which is which has two guards right there. Um, I really don't want to reset everybody. So what I'm going to do... Yeah, good luck.
luck blocking that. What I'll do is I'll put my summon sign down, um, but we'll do that at the start of the next video. And, oh, there's some stuff over here. Poison's down. Alright, yeah, um, so next video we'll do a, uh, put our summon sign down. You guys could, I'm still part of the Sunlight Covenant, so you guys can see that stuff, and then we'll fight the boss by ourselves. So, actually, let's make sure there's no NPCs. Wait a minute. Trogdor! You don't look like the Burninator. Alright. What about you? Jester Thomas. The name like Jester Thomas, I'm assuming you're an NPC. Anyway, I was just checking to see if there's any uh, NPCs. Uh, I am the Depressed Eeyore, and this was Dark Souls 2. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in a bit.